PTM profiling is a great feature found in Peaks. It is built to deal with a specific issue regarding post-translational modifications. In many cases, a protein is identified with both modified and unmodified peptides at some positions. PTM profiling works with all PTMs, but in this example, we will look at phosphorylation. In this protein, there are several phosphorylation sites. However, unmodified peptides were found at those positions as well. This leads to two questions. At what positions do the phosphorylations occur? And if it is phosphorylated, how much of the protein is phosphorylated? To answer the question of where the PTM occurs, Peaks provides an A-score for each proposed PTM. The A-score is based on the evidence from the fragment ions and is the probability that the modification is present at that position compared to other possibilities. Our A-score follows the guidelines outlined in the paper shown here. Peaks also has the ability to assign PTM confidence based on direct fragment ion proof. So if the MSMS spectrum shows fragmentation before and after the proposed modification site and is above 5% relative intensity, it is considered confidently modified. In either case, if the PTM is considered confident, it will appear above the protein sequence. To answer the question of how much of the protein is phosphorylated, Peaks uses a concept implemented in label-free quantification experiments. It uses the concept of peptide features, meaning the LCMS signal of that peptide. It has been proven that the area under the curve of the peptide feature is proportional to the relative abundance of that peptide. So, for a peptide with a confident modification site, shown in this LCMS, Peaks will find the area under the curve of its associated LCMS feature. It will repeat this as well for all of the modified and unmodified peptides found at this position in the protein. This table shows all of the modified and unmodified peptides which are found at this position. The A scores are reported for each modified peptide, and the peptide feature area is given as well. Using this information, Peaks creates a bar chart that gives a ratio of the relative quantity of phosphorylated peptide versus unphosphorylated peptide at each identified phosphorylation position. Only fully digested peptides are used in this chart to give added accuracy. Scrolling over the graph will give the percentage of the total amount. You can also use the drop down menus at the top of the window to compare the phosphorylation ratios across multiple runs. Here you can see at some positions there is consistency across runs, at other positions the modification didn't appear. So you can see the similarities and differences in modifications across multiple runs. You can also export the PTM profiling data to get more details. Actually running PTM profiling is easy. At the top right hand corner of the coverage view, select the PTM profiling button. This will compile the data and present the PTM profiling results for all the identified modifications in that protein. Only confident PTMs are used so be sure to select either A score or minimal ion intensity and the desired cutoff using the legend to the right of the coverage view. That's all you need to know to get started with PTM profiling with Peaks. Thanks for listening. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about Peaks, complete software for proteomics.